Hello everyone, it's Paul from Guitar Gear Connection. On this episode of All About, we're going to be taking a deep dive into all the specifications of the Gibson J160E. So stick around, you're not going to want to miss this history lesson. One could argue the J160 helped write more influential songs than any other acoustic. It was the tool to have back in the 60s with a little help of a certain band. Its iconic legacy will live on forever, but in order to fully appreciate this fine instrument, we must first learn of its upbringing. 1954 was the first year of production, featuring a solid top, ladder bracing, and mahogany back, sides, and neck. It also featured two large thumb screws for adjusting the bridge height and a P90 pickup for amplification. In 1955, the solid tops were replaced with laminate tops to reduce the amount of feedback generated when plugged in. By changing this top material, the guitar would have less resonance and sustain, completely changing the overall sound. In 1956, we saw one extra fret being added to the neck, going from 19 to 20 frets. The large gold volume and tone speed knobs were replaced with top hat knobs that were smooth with no sticker. In 1957, they removed the large thumb screw adjustable bridge and replaced it with an adjustable ceramic bridge with a large metal base and two flathead adjusting screws. Shortly thereafter, the ceramic filled in more of the gap. 1959 brought smaller flathead screws on the adjustable bridge. 1960 saw the top hat control knobs come with a raised ridge and a label sticker in the middle. Now one can really say these are Beatles spec. In the final months of 1963, Gibson changed from one ring around the sound hole to now having two rings, consisting of a thicker one closest to the sound hole and a thin outer one. Briefly in 1964, we see some guitars coming through with a plastic bridge base. This is the way we see it on John Lennon's second J160. In 1968, we see a different size and shape pickguard appear. The early ones were screwed down, and then later on they were glued. We also start seeing black knobs appear. And finally in 1969, the whole body design was changed going from round shoulder to square shoulder. A new shading of sunburst was being sprayed as well, almost looking like a cherry brownish burst. This new design was not popular, yet Gibson carried this ghastly design for 10 years until 1979. After an 11 year break, we see the J160 reintroduced in 1990. These new acoustics featured a solid Sitka spruce top X bracing, mahogany body, non-adjustable bridge, and a P100 pickup. This variation is referred to as standard spec. Basically, every reissue came in either standard spec or 62 spec. In late 1993, Yamano, which is Gibson's distributor in Japan, introduced the 1964 reissue. These were the first 62 vintage spec models to be made, but only for the Japanese market. Yamanos were produced for many years. In 1994, a 100th anniversary model was released, coming in standard spec. 1998 through 2002 saw a 62 spec limited edition John Lennon three-piece guitar set. This set featured a Sunburst Fab Four, a psychedelic magical tour, and an engraved natural bed-in. 47 sets were made, with each guitar being individually numbered on the serial tag, with printed certificate and John's yellow lined case. 1998 also saw the wider vintage style headstocks come back to stay on all variations. The previous thinner headstocks had more of a Les Paul look to them. 1999 brought a 62 spec limited edition John Lennon model in Sunburst. 250 were made, 
each individually numbered on the serial tag with printed certificate. In 2000, Gibson released the same 62 spec limited edition John Lennon Sunburst. This time they were limited to 550. Next in 2002 was a 62 spec limited edition John Lennon Peace model. These came natural with John Lennon's signature on the truss rod cover. 750 were made each year until about 2013 or so. They came individually numbered on the serial tag with printed certificate and John's yellow line case. In 2010 came the 62 spec 70th anniversary John Lennon Museum. These featured his signature on the headstock with his birthday at the 12th fret. They made 500 of them in sunburst, 70 of them in natural with the bed piece engraving, and 70 of them in all white. They were not individually numbered on the serial tag, and the certificate does not have the numbering either. Around 2012, Gibson stopped using the P100 in the standard spec models and started putting the P90s in across the board. In 2014, they came out with a 1961 Special Edition in Standard Spec. 2016 and 2017 brought in a few different models, such as the early 60s, late 60s, and one simply called 1962. I also found one-offs, such as a 1960s variant. There were so many different ones that I'm sure I'm missing a few more. In between all of these crazy models, Gibson continued the standard spec and a few other 1962 spec models right up until the complete end of the J160E in 2018. For anyone out there that owns a Gibson J160E, had one in the past, or plans on buying one, comment below or send me an email, guitargearconnection at gmail.com. I'd love to hear all about it. Thanks for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe to this channel and check out my Instagram. Tons of cool pictures and videos there as well.